I have often wondered, how do you make an already great system even better? That challenge is my motivation. So today's video is focused on the three incremental GTD features that we are introducing to the ultimate GTD system. If you want to see other features, just take a look at this video flashing above and also down in the link. As always, you will find the link to buy the template in the description below. I look at GTD having three critical features, a calendar, a task manager and a recurring tasks feature. Two of the three features that we are going to discuss today are on the new functionality for recurring tasks. In the last version, we included perpetual recurring tasks where you didn't need to configure the next due date manually. We put in tasks that are repeated daily, alternate days, weekly, which was set for a specific day of the week, When I did that, I thought to myself, ah, I've considered all possible combinations that people would ask for. And man, was I proved wrong. The feature that came out on top was when somebody wanted weekdays and weekends, and they didn't want to do multiple configurations. That set me thinking. We have kids who have classes on random weekdays. We have things we want to do on a weekday and another on a weekend or we want to block off two days of the week for a meeting or an event. So I designed something called DOW, short for date of the week, and added a specific property called specific days. Then I changed the formula inside of the next due to accommodate this. Just to tell you how complex this can be, I discovered that the formula is a page long in Word and my entire formula now exceeds three pages. To add to this, I have included a new alert for it. It gives you today's date and the next due date. There's also a new DOW view. The DOW view shows all the days of the week and the tasks that are repeated and it also provides for the due dates. So this is an exclusive view to the DOW tasks. There was a second request that came in from a buyer from Europe, where they seem to have a number of bills that they pay on a bi-monthly basis. That's once in two months. So I created this repeat where if the bill is due on January, the next due date is March. But once you've crossed March, the next due becomes June and it keeps going. As you can see, the next due is now September 1, based on that date. The third update is a massive one. It caters to the fourth most spoken language in the world, Spanish. So I created a separate template that is an exact replica of the new Ultimate GTD template and has the exact same feature set, but is in Spanish. And this is how it looks. In the calendar view, all the views are now in Spanish. In the table view, all the views are also in Spanish. All the table headers are in Spanish. All the selections except the period are in Spanish. For the period, it's partly in Spanish and partly in English. The challenge seems to be the complexity of the editing of the formula to the fullest. The dates along with the months are in English, since that's what Notion throws up. Even the alerts are in Spanish now. As you can see, I have translated about 99% of the words into Spanish. I hope that my Spanish viewers enjoy this template to the fullest. If anybody is more comfortable with Spanish than English and wants to migrate, they just have to write in and I'll swap out the template for free, provided 
They've already bought the English version of the ultimate GTD system. So do you have a feature in GTD that you would like to see in future versions? Comment below. If it's popular enough, we will work on it and you will see the results inside the new template. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.